Welcome back, Steve here. Today, our project is going to be a real cool project. Uh, this is a 1977 Volkswagen van, Westphalia. Not bad shape. Actually, a very nice, nice van. But, it's got some engine issues. It's got a really bad miss and you know you take a quick look can't see the obvious so we're gonna have to do a little bit of figuring to figure out what's wrong with it but I'm gonna give you a little tour of this thing first I kind of like it I used to own one just like it as you can see where I'm from rust is always a big issue and there's not that much on here at all A little bit of paint peeling off at the front. Needs a bit of a paint job, but that's okay. Yeah, this is a nice looking uh, unit. Well, let's get this thing back on the road. That doesn't sound good at all. Now you know where I'm at with this. And I think we just start with the simple stuff and then move into the more complicated stuff. It needs a muffler for sure, but I don't think you could even climb downhill with this one. No power at all. All right, time to get started. Now, this engine here is fuel injected. And when they're running good, they run really good. But if something just up happens and it's not running very well at all, it's usually a vacuum line. Like there's, you had a backfire or something and it popped the line off. If there's any vacuum leak whatsoever on these, it just will not run proper at all. But I've taken a bit of a look, can't see anything obvious. So that means that we got to dig a little bit deeper. So we're going to start cylinder by cylinder, see if we can find an issue. So I'm going to start with number four. And first thing we're going to do is just pull the plug wire and do a simple ohms test on it to make sure that it is working. That'd be nice and easy, wouldn't it? If it just was a plug wire. Now this is a resistor here, so there is going to be some resistance on this plug wire. And it shows up about, about 1300. So that tells me that that's a good plug wire. I don't know the exact specs, but I know that that's probably going to work. So, it's not the plug wire. Okay, let's pull that uh, spark plug out. Now these plugs are quite a ways down there, so you're going to definitely need a spark plug uh, socket for that. Well, she's brand new and looks pretty good. 
So we're gonna do a compression test. First thing I'm gonna do is take that uh, the coil wire off. I'm gonna put this in through the top because I can see the threads. And then we'll hook her up and we'll give her a test. Okay, hopefully you can read that. We'll turn her over. I'm seeing zero on there. I'm going to play it back and see what it did. All right, right off the bat, we got uh, we got some issues. Everything seems to be tight. Hmm. Let's try number one. Do a quick test here first. Can't be that bad. If it's um, reading almost zero, that's either catastrophic or the valves are too tight. And if you're a Volkswagen guy, you know that that's a possibility. Number one looks good. It's at about 1,040. So the wire's all right. I'll pull that plug, hook up, and we'll do a test. Okay, number three cylinder. I think I said number one. That's number three back there. Let's hope for something better. All right, is there something wrong with my gauge? Gonna check that one. Be right back. Tried a different end on there, and I'm getting the same result. There's no compression whatsoever. Um, there has to be some compression somewhere. So I think I'm gonna move on over to, I think this is, uh, this might be number one here. If not, maybe my gauge doesn't work. But if that's the case, and there is no compression over here, that tells me that the valves are not closing. So it just might need to be uh, readjusted. I hope that's the case, because that's a lot easier than, or a lot cheaper than having to replace an injector or something like that. Here's one thing you can do. If you think you got a bad injector, you check your oil, and if your oil is way up above, it could be just shooting straight gas in all the time. You got a fouled up, or not a fouled up, but a faulty injector. That's one thing that can indicate an issue. But if this compression is for real, then it's gotta be the valves. All right, let's try another one here. So that would be number two that I'm going to try. Am 
Might as well check the plug wire while we're at it. Yeah, it reads about the same as the other one. Okay. That one goes over here. This one goes over here. Try not to get things too confused. Okay, a little tight in here, so I'm going to have to take the air box out. It's already really loose anyway. Can get in there. Uh, that's really black right there. So here's a little thing for you. My spark plug uh, socket wasn't holding so what I did was I just put a little bit of tape on either side so that when it's in there it's going to hold. It's a long ways down there. Don't want to lose the spark plug. All right. Let's hope for the best on this one. All right, three's the charm, right? Whoa, that's better. Right at about a hundred and ten there. So we do have some compression. Well that's some good news. So basically that tells me that uh, that um, my gauge is working for one thing and also tells me I heard I started this up and this thing was making a noise. Got a seized up uh, fan there. Not good. We'll see if we can get that fixed too. But, got one more cylinder to go. And then that'll be it for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll pull that valve cover off and we'll see what's going on.
That's only about 70. Hmm. Not good. Amazed I even got this thing started at all. Last night we did the uh, compression test on this and number three and number four had zero. Number two had 120 I think and number one had 70. How this thing ran, I don't know, but it's a Volkswagen and just won't quit. So I think our next move, we're gonna pull off the uh, valve cover on this side and let's really hope that it's just a matter of just adjusting some valves and then we can put it all back together and get it running again. Uh, if it's more than that, then it's pretty catastrophic and have to pull the engine. So let's hope for the best. Let's get this valve cover off and we'll see you down there. Alright, I want to set number four, so I have made a mark on the flywheel, went to top dead center, checked out where the uh, rotor is on number one, right oh, kind of in the middle of the frame there, and then I just went over to number four, which is 180 degrees. So then when we do number three, we'll go all the way back to where it would be opposite number one. Hope that makes sense. So now we're going to set the valves on number four cylinder and I just checked them, they're tight, which is good news for us. All right, the book says about six thousandths for both. Now, some say you should go eight, so let's go seven. good right there. Really good.
Number three done. Okay, we got the valve set and we're just gonna check to see if it did anything. And um, let's keep our fingers crossed. see adjusting the valves did not do anything so we're a little bit deeper than that which is a little bit unfortunate all right I'll do number three and the rest of them and then I'll give you a final update well I always kind of like to have a happy ending at the end of a YouTube video but today it's not a happy ending. We did the diagnostics and we got two cylinders that are just shot. So whether the valves are burnt out or we have a piston issue, I think it's the valves. I think over time they just weren't set up properly and probably burned out. Uh, this happens to be the second one that I've diagnosed this year like that. Uh, the other one wasn't as bad but same, same cylinder. So. It just might be something that is just this this particular year is prone to that. I don't know. Anyway, won't be able to fix it. The engine's got to come out. Head's got to come off. Probably be a bit of an engine rebuild. So we got to talk to the owner, find out where he's at with it, and then we can move on from there. I could have, you know, maybe had some sort of an alternate ending, but now sometimes the truth hurts. So, this girl will have to wait just a little longer before uh, we put her back on the road. So until next time, thanks for watching.